There is a healing power in being cared for, a power that mothers seem to possess innately. As children, we believed that a mother's touch could cure us of any ailment or illness. Whether pain was internal or external, mothers always seemed to know precisely how to relieve us of it. In these scenarios, it was always the thought that counted most. For marginalized communities in particular, this process often requires mothers to simultaneously act as cultural gatekeepers. Passed down and learned from their mothers, these rituals, and the pride in them, become intergenerational. Without this preservation of practices, these home remedies, and our confidence in their healing, may otherwise be lost. From Canada to Ecuador, we source stories from women about the home remedies that were prevalent in their own lives. While maple rub and onions seem to be favorites in curing a broad spectrum of illnesses, the diverse backgrounds from which these cures stem from just goes to show that women around the world are a lot more closely linked than we might think. The following stories are told to show how healing reaches across generations. Please do not use these stories as evidence of scientific research, medical advice, or treatment. On tackling colds and flus designed by Brittany England from a young age, my mother always emphasized the importance of our Mexican culture. Whenever we were sick, she always had a remedy she learned from her mother to help us feel better. When we had a cold, she would have us sit down on a chair with a bucket of very hot water at our feet. She would spread vapor rub on the soles of our feet and have us dip them in the water. While our feet were soaking, we had to drink a hot cinnamon tea. We would always feel better after this. I'm open to trying it again for my own children in the future. Amy, Chicago. Besides dousing me in vapor rub, my mother used to make me sleep sitting upright because it apparently alleviated the onset of a cough almost immediately. I would just use it as an excuse to read past my bedtime. Kaylee, Chicago. The power of vapor rub vapor rub has eucalyptus essential oil, which helps loosen up the mucus in your chest. To read more about home remedies for phlegm, click here. In a Nigerian home, I grew up with a holistic understanding of wellness. One common cold cure that my mother passed on to me is this, fill a basin with hot water, not warm, hot, and mix in a teaspoon of Vicks Vaporub, then grab a dish towel. Wet the dish towel with the mixture and place it over the top of the basin. Put your face onto the cloth and breathe deeply for 5 to 10 minutes. This will clear your sinuses and undoubtedly have you breathing right again. It has yet to be published in any health journals I've read, but I hold it as a sacred remedy. Sarah, New York City. When we were younger, whenever one of my sisters or I would start to feel sick, my mom would have us gargle salt water. If we had a sore throat, runny nose, or any flu-like symptom, we would sometimes wait to tell her because we knew the first thing she'd do is reach for the water and salt. Her mother always had her do it, and she believed that salt killed the bacteria in the throat. It did always seem to work, or at least I guess I'll eventually make my children do it too since I don't want the burden of ending this superstitious cycle. Charlotte, New York City. My mother lives by Ginger. She's always been a big advocate for starting from within to rectify an issue. I've never known a time when there wasn't a freshly brewed pitcher of ginger beer in the fridge. It's honestly her cure-all when cramping, congested, or groggy. She grinds up the ginger with lime and keeps straining until smooth. She then adds cloves and drinks it daily. She claims it helps with strengthening her immune system. The stronger the batch, the better. Paddy R2, Chicago. My mom is Greek and swears by hot red wine for colds. Mind you, hot red wine does not mean mulled wine, but putting any red you bought at the grocery store in a mug and microwaving it for 30 seconds. She believes the alcohol cures you, but I think it just makes it more bearable. I loved it because it meant I was able to drink when I was younger. Jamie, Chicago. On erasing cuts and bruises for bruises, we would eat an onion or any red vegetable because it was believed that those were the ones that went directly to red blood cells and helped reproduce them. Eating an onion actually did help me, but the side effect is that if you work out or sweat you smell bad because you're basically sweating out the onion. Gabriella, Diaphil, Ecuador. Growing up, my mother always tried to heal us naturally as often as she could. She carried and respected the traditions passed down to her from her great-grandparents. I often bruised easily or ended up with small cuts from playing outside with my boy cousins. My mom would use leftover potato skins to heal my wounds. Potatoes help wounds heal faster by reducing inflammation. They also help break down hyperpigmentation so they're great for post-wounds, scarring, as well. 